A local student is bringing history back to life through music. About 500 years ago, a Catholic masterpiece was last performed. And thanks to a K-State student, you can now hear it. KSNT News reporter Mackenzie Davis is live at McCain Auditorium in Manhattan to tell us about the man behind the music. After six long months and with the help of a computer, Patrick Datamo was able to bring the Misa at Ate Lavave to life. And with his hard work, people can now sing it again. That is only a sample of the Renaissance Mass Misa Ad Te Lavavi by Bartolome Descabedo. K State grad student and Topeka native Patrick Didimo has spent the last six months inside this office transcribing the song. I would have a voice in front of me and I'd copy it into the staff below bit by bit, scrolling along. And then once I finished that voice, I would go to the next page and work through that voice. For Patrick, the transcription was difficult because the ink so on the sheets had smeared and how old the piece is. The song is only sung a cappella, but with the help of an app, he was able to transcribe the song and hear it with an instrument. But now we can actually hear what it sounded like and discover something new but old. Now people can hear what it sounds like through a concert performed by the Kansas City Chorale members. To one member, he says this is a positive for a church community that just this week watched as a fire nearly destroyed the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. After the Notre Dame fire, it seemed like uh, uh, it was a resurrection of art uh, that we uh, needed to share. This is a fascinating piece of music. It's going to be heard for the first time, likely in four to five hundred years, and it's just delightful. There's, there's a certain thrill of discovery, because you don't know what you're going to get until you transcribe it. The Misa Ate Lavave will be performed tomorrow by the Kansas City Chorale in Kansas City. It'll be at the Nelson Atkins Museum. Live in Manhattan, Mackenzie Davis, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Mackenzie. And way to nail all those big words.